Beautiful ladies, beautiful ladies. I hope you had a great gobble gobble day. I missed you guys. I missed you guys so much. How's beautiful. everybody in the live chat? Hello, everybody in the live chat. Oh, hey, live chat. To you. Oh, happy Wednesday, sis. Happy, happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Love yes, you guys I so love you guys much. so much. Oh, yeah. love you. Y'all look beautiful. Oh, look today. at that little mug. Look at that mug. What? <laughs> I love it. This whole wow. thing? You mean this? You yeah. look stunning today. Well, you know what? We should just go ahead and start it right off. Who you're wearing, what you're drinking, my dear. You look really? so fabulous. The hat is. Thank you. Uh, yeah, spot on. You know, ladies, as much as I love our slumber party theme, I if you'll notice as the as the years have gone by, especially in the fall and winter, I start to like dress more like, you know, accessorized because I love a cape moment. This is a cape. Lavish mm -hmm. Alice. Love it. Mad rag hat. I just love accessories and gloves and scarves and I think next week I'm going to be like the Polar Bear Express. So that's just a warning. But um, you love yeah, a bit just of a little vintage Dior, uh -huh. Mad Rag. Um, I think this is New Look. This is Lavish Alice, my favorite place to go to Cape Emporium. And uh, this is look a little mug I got. It was only two pounds, but isn't he cute? He's like pearlescent. Two oh, pounds? Yeah. That's Beautiful. it? Yeah. It was on sale. Oh, wow. It was a New Look. I went shopping today. Oh. just for the hell of it. It was so much fun. You're like, oh, I'm going to get this blouse. And oh, here's a mug on clearance. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Why not? And Why I was not? like, my husband's going to be so annoyed because we, if we have an excess of everything except for like clothes and stuff, mugs. I have so many damn mugs, but I love them all. And they're a conversation piece. I thought this one was very yeah. chic. I, very yeah. chic. Goes with your outfit. It is the same. Hmm. He's like, we don't need any more drinking receptacles. We have yeah. so many. This yeah, back no to your glass. Marshall's uh, Cups, calls. No more little travel mugs. Yeah, no more nothing. I love them. Yeah, that that's David too. I went to my my laundry because I take my laundry cart downstairs, and there'll be a, a box of like mugs, and I go, "What are you doing? That's that was my mom's. No, you don't get rid of that one. You, wait, no, we need mugs. I go, sentimental. You know, you never know when one's gonna break. Yeah, yeah, yeah you never know. know. You never know. Never There's a lot know. of singles in the cabinet. Just one lonely mug. Yeah. Exactly. Lisa, should you go next? Because I yes. can't get over this sort of autumnal palette you have going with the, with the beige and the browns and the leopard. Yes. Well, I thought, you know, November, you know, Thanksgiving, the browns and stuff like that. You know, my Betsy Johnson glasses. I'm wearing a rhinoceros uh, earrings. Uh, reminds me of Candace and Kenji because they Aww. are obsessed with the rhinoceros. And I got yeah. this at a, a bowling celebrity thing in Chicago. And it was to raise money for the the rhinoceros the extinct of the rhinoceros so i got that one and i'm wearing just just browns just browns and i have these cool shoes hold on i know i'm they, gold? Right. they are um one wonder woman um converse wow. which guess where, where yeah i'm selling them on my big cartel store <laughs> are you i thought i'd get one less use out of them you know what i mean oh, yeah very cute yeah I, I had too much shoe, too many shoes, you guys, too many. Same. I do too. I you should see my shoe closet. You should see my closet. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's I bet like, I can imagine. I don't like to get. I'm not like I keep everything. It's a problem. It's a I real do. problem. Yeah. Yes. You we'll you see you on the next uh, episode on on hoarders. I yeah, you'll see us there. Do a cheap plug. Um, pretty party. Cute. Yes, their pony, yes, their pony tail. That. They sent me a big box. They sent me, I, I ordered ba bangs to see what I look like in bangs. Yes. I know. That's going to I haven't so tried well. those yet. Oh my God. You have to try them. Yeah. I know. I know. But I have a very square jaw. And no, they, you're say, they say bangs for square jaws are, I know I'm stuttering right now. I can tell it's like lagging. Sorry. My Wi Fi is the wraps. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what it is. It even has like a little side thing. So I kind of look um, a little Asian in it. It's like an Asian oh. bang. Oh, I'm picturing like a Betty Page type of fringy bang. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. I had a quick question before we went into what Mickey was wearing because it has to, somewhat to do with that. So when you guys say that you keep stuff, right? Do you keep it because like, like we're hoarding stuff in closets? Do you keep it because it has sentimental value or do you keep it because you go, oh, I'm still going to wear this one day. Like I, I'm going to come a day where I'm going to need a red blouse or a leopard onesie. You know what I mean? That's why I do yeah. it. I just think yeah. something's going to happen. Right. A million things could happen where you yeah. would need a leopard onesie, honestly. I'm not a collector. 
I, I want to get rid of everything. I just, yeah. I just, if I need something new, Amazon, you're my best friend. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I, you know, you guys know I live in a small place anyways, and I you don't have room for everything. I don't know yeah. what I have in there. There's some outfits. I'm like, okay, the girls might say, let's do this theme. And it's going to screw me over. I'm going, I just got rid of that. Yeah. Because you yeah. never know. As Mickey said, right. you just never know. So Mickey, what are you drinking? What are you wearing, baby girl? Ooh. I'm just doing a little classic, a little Coca-Cola. Classic. Zero sugar, though. The zero. Oh. You know. Oh, Donovan's in here. He's about to go to the bathroom. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I'm wearing. Close the door. When you got to go, you got to go. The last rodeo. This is the um, Wrestle Merch Central exclusive one. Oh, that's so good. That yeah. is good. Yeah. Oh my god. Episode. But it was kind of like because they're in the UK, but they ship worldwide. Yeah. But I thought I could do this one because I have the Impact Special one, the last rodeo one with me on it. But I was like, well, this is kind of yeah, universal. Like if you want, if you want something that's just more universal, generic, you like face on your chest. Yeah. Right. That that looks like an old cinematic Western movie poster, which I love. It and is. Like, so like, cool. Only wrestling fans would know exactly what's going on, which is even cooler. Right. Yeah, so I guarantee. I, I guarantee Leonard bought one of those. Oh man, it's really cute. I love it actually because you can just I wear it, it and it doesn't really. Yeah, uh, you yeah. know who designed this? My husband. Did Nick he really? It. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah, he is a he is a Nick of all trades. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Wow, he it cool. right up on Canva for me. I was like, oh. oh. I'll tell you what, I think that's, that's kind of the awesome. best type of merch is even some of the drag race merch that I have. It's like, it looks very artsy or like in that case, very cinematic movie poster. And only if you know that show, you spot people that are like on your same wavelength. They'll be like, oh my God, Sasha Velour. Or in this case, oh, you like Mickey James? And then that's like how you become friends. Yeah. Yeah. Most, most of my designs are from the fans. I'll be honest wow. with you. You know? Yeah. 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 I forgot to do a shout out. Photons and Stitches made my cup. She knows I'm a Mandalorian fan. And it's 3D. So yeah. check her Instagram out. Anything you want. She um she made a God TV one too. Yeah. Oh. Yes. yes. That's awesome. That's Where's so that cute. You can see little hands. Speaking of kit and fans, we have the best fans. Uh just just to brag. And we have something called our gorgeous tier. I mean, love you. I mean, love you. Mm -hmm. On patreon.com slash god TV. And a quick shout out to them because for the month of November. Uh, yes, we love things golfing and things like that. We wanted to give them the opportunity to pick their own top tier uh, prize this month. And we gave them a few options of merchandise and one-on-one -on -one phone calls, shout outs, things like that. And they chose, by the way, 100% chose our live chat feature, which is just like being on Zoom with us, just like being on Golf TV, but it's all of our favorite people in the world. And uh, we're going to announce the date and time of that on next week's episode so it is november 30th which means you have like just a few hours of time to join that top tier or upgrade to the gorgeous tier if you want to be part of that chat but you guys 100 percent, they love the chats with us they're live yeah. they're fun well it's good to know that that's the favorite thing they are yeah. fun they're a lot of fun actually i think it's cool yeah. because we can chat more with them and they're more included in the episode because we can do the who you wear and what you drink in and plus it gets us to know our fans on a different level you know yeah it's yeah, we it's it also like it's like we became friends and just family now, you know, like Mickey D helps me with my what not live auctions and yeah. like all like yeah, he just is on it. Yeah, he loves it. He the loves it. People. Yeah, I, awesome. the nicest people, Leonard. Wish and me so many of them are in the they, live they, chat. Which, by the way, if you guys are joining us for the first time, we are here in the live chat every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you're watching on replay, cool, great to have you here. Love you. But it is fun to chat with us live uh, via, I kind of like that it's old school chat room. Like I miss being like yeah. 14 and like an AOL chat. <laughs> AOL chat, yes. I long. never did it. I never, I didn't even know oh, that was really? an option. Name? I, you, you didn't have a name? Name as well, yeah. No. no. Really? That's instant I did messenger. not know that existed. You know, I'm not tech savvy, you guys. You know that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's weird to think when like AOL first came. Like, remember when you've got mail? Like, how you, I watch the movie all the time. I love it so much. But it's a very good fall kind of movie. And like, they show her like with the dial up, and it's like all that like all that stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, that was so exciting to wait for it. Yeah, yeah. Everything's so oh my god. Oh my that? god. Is it a meme or it's like that 
that thing that was going around if you don't know the sound and a lot of you know obviously the younger generation has no idea what that sound is they do now because there's a, a gift no I don't know. I, 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 people that, I mean, I meet like 18, 19 year olds and like Alan has like some boys that are young and they're like, they don't know what he's talking about when he talks about like a pay phone. Right. There used to be pay phones like in a, well, in England, be in a booth, but you know, there were some booths in America too. Yeah. 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 Now they're just more for nostalgia. They're there. Yeah. So I can go, hello. Every time I go. Hello. Yeah. You're going to have your selfie in it and the English ones. Yeah. Yeah, They're really cute. That's, hilarious for people like of our age to watch and then of like fans that are you know a lot and a lot of these fans are really young especially at comic-con they just find all of that hysterical blockbuster rewinding videos the phones the walkie talkies and it's like where's their cell phone and it's so funny because at comic cons i just was talking to a few people about this which i'll segue by the way we want to do a little social peek Woo! oh hey it's hard to do in a hat <laughs> Social peak. I might as well go segue my social peak of the week because it has just been us and we do love to like kind of go back to our slumber party roots, have it just be us, was hosting at Comic Con. So I had like Luke Evans, the cast of Cobra Kai, cast of Twilight, Vampire Diaries. And some of the questions are funny because the, the audience is too young to remember certain things or to remember what certain people were in. Uh, plus we're in England. So like a girl, one of the actresses mentioned um, Third Eye Blind. The crowd went silent. It was an actor from Vampire Diaries, Matt Davis, who is from Vampire Diaries, but he's Elle Woods' boyfriend, Warner, and Legally Blonde, which is like the Bible. They didn't know. So it's so funny right. with this younger generation to not understand like that what people were in before, say, Stranger Things. It's a bunch of 80s nostalgia in Stranger Things, but they don't right. know that because they didn't, or they didn't watch Karate Kid. They only watched Cobra Kai. Right. Yeah. Weird. They don't know what they're missing out on. I know. Yeah. Seriously. So I went on Snapchat to look at funny filters. One of them is a VHS filter. And I'm like, what the hell is this? It's to see how what VHS quality is. And mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this is what? This is not too long ago, you guys. Was it? Did you guys did what you get to it? meet um Ian from yes, Vampire I, did. I have a photo. I know I com- I was so I was like, I commented, I am sure. so jealous. He's yeah. beautiful. He is beautiful. I'm like, I hate to break this to you. He's real nice. He's, he's nice. I met guy. him too. Yeah. Afterwards, he was just like, Thanks, buddy. That was so he was so funny. And then Paul Wesley, who was the other vampire diaries gentleman was nice but it was but Ian even warned the audience like he's very you know yin to yang like Ian's very like us like oh my god and it gets excited and then Paul's like yeah you're gonna you're kind of being a moron right now and it was really funny to see them play <laughs> off of each other by the way quick plug for Monopoly events who I do the comic cons for they're all all of these interviews that you're seeing photos of um they're going to be posting all of the interviews on YouTube so if you enjoy any of the cast of Sky awesome. or anything yeah, yeah. but you it's not just my people. social piece so fun I I do that too. yeah I love that you get to do that too, because I think that you get to talk, talk to like so many different people from so many different genres, right? It's probably yeah. like just fun conversations. Yeah. Plus you look stunning. Are you, yeah. you're doing all the Monopoly events now, aren't you? I am indeed. And my next one, we'll get to that later, but I have, I'll talk about the next one I'm doing in Manchester upcoming, but yeah, it is fun. And you know, it's kind of fun because it's refreshing. It's not just wrestling. It's people from like right. different genres and walks of life. Yeah. Yeah. Donovan yes. is up here playing. I know you guys can hear him in the background. And he's currently rocking back and forth in this, um, <laughs> Donovan, what is that? In this toy bucket. It's like a, going, I'm in a boat. I'm in a I'm boat. In, I'm on a boat. <laughs> I'm in a boat. I'm on a boat. Lit on metal. Flip, 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 flippy floppies. That was my favorite line. Yeah. On that. You'll appreciate Lisa. He started singing the other day, the choo-choo train song. He did? Is he finally learning the words? Yeah. He sang Yay. the whole thing. Tug you down the track, come and tug along, then we're coming back, back to you. Got a one-way ticket to the blues. Woo! Yes, Good job. Yeah. That's the best social peak is D's karaoke. Oh, oh my god. Karaoke D. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> karaoke D. Karaoke D. Yeah. Karaoke D. I love that. Hey, speaking of singing running in the family. Hey, Mickey. Where were you on that Florida, oh, Alabama? Yeah, I run? was, oh my God, well, I feel like we've done so much, but it is, you know, today, obviously it's the end of November here. It's Native American Heritage Month. And I wanted to go take a throwback, a little throw pack, peak ski, if you will, um, to when, was that, um, I was in Florida, Bama, and we were there for the Frank Brown Songwriters Festival. But they also do, and this is the fourth time I've been able to go back to do the Native American tribute 
um, part of the festival on the Sunday. And it was amazing. It was amazing. I don't know if you've ever been to that. It's like where Florida and Alabama meet, but there's this whole thing of like the Florabama, the restaurant and oyster bar and the yacht club. And the, they have, they have, they, they own the whole little section there. Yeah. The whole thing, it seems. Um, and Kenny Chesney was kind of, he kind of started there. Like that's how they have yeah. there, but they do the songwriters festival. And I think it's like the 38th yeah. annual um, for the songwriters. Donovan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's, he's excited. He is excited. He's home right now because, you know, he's home for the day. He had a little fever or cold from the weekend. Oh, oh bless no. him. So he's been home today, but he doesn't seem like he doesn't feel well. If he had a fever, he should have went to school. You know what I mean? He's gone now. He's <laughs> playing in the boat. He's in the boat. Yeah, he's he's in the boat. Hey, isn't, you so uh, hard. Uh, is, is, yeah. is Limp Biscuit, Limp, Limp Biscuit also from Florabama? Uh, I don't know. Like, remember Travis was like from that kind of south southern part of Florida. Really? I thought so. I don't know why that know. sticks out. I don't know. Okay. It seemed very harsh oh, for it. Check that wiki. You know? Yeah, the wiki, wiki. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it was amazing. I got to host the event. I sung with Sean Gassaway, and I had a couple different shows, but that um, show I did with Crystal Shawanda, who's this blues singer and she's incredible she's out of canada wow. she's incredible so yeah there's a little clip of her singing and then yeah it was beautiful man i was so fun and it was yeah. nick's birthday so we got to go to the beach and it was a whole thing wow. it was and you had your flippy floppies ready i'm sure we had our flippy yeah. floppies and our beach wear i even put my feet in the ocean it was a little cold you know Ooh. but the yeah. indoor pool was lovely <laughs> that Pluto key that we stayed at it was lovely oh, yeah incredible. That yeah. Super 8 and Red Roof has really um, increased in their quality. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they'll leave the light on for you, okay? Oh, they we will. We say that, but how many, like, house show loops did we ever, like, go to places like that? Like, I was more of a ham. I thought I was real fancy at the Hampton Inn, or if um, they here would be the Premier Inn. I think when I first started on the road, I would go to places like that. The only Red Roof I truly remember booking on... Um, because I needed to was the one right, right next to uh, Kowloon in, in Boston. Oh, because it was walking distance to Kowloon's. You could walk to Kowloon's and walk back. And all the hotels there in that area are kind of, but yeah. I only did that one time and I don't think I ever did it again because it was too far from the airport, I thought. And yeah. I like to stick with my Marriott's or my Hilton's. Like I, yeah. I need to, and I'll go high it or I'll go up, but I'm kind of in that. I like the points. Yeah. I like getting the little extras of the, you know, like the free breakfast the in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And the free breakfast. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, uh, do you guys follow Kowloon? Um, they're doing comedy night, karaoke night. Yeah. They have like people performing and like, it's huge now. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, this is our Kowloon. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Incredible. Yeah. It's, it's in Boston area. Yeah, that's like I think I've been to Boston once ever. It's one of the only places in America I'm like I don't have, I'm not familiar with it at all. And the best mai tais, the mess best mai tais. You remember the mai tais? They sneak up on you. That's all I gotta I say. Versus the mai tais. Oh my god. Well, Lisa, but, we gotta get a social peek oh. from you, Ski. Okay. Yes. Um. Well. I have been doing live auctions um, on the weekends that I don't have appearances. It's on whatnot. You can follow me on Real Lisa Marie. And I started in OnlyFans, you know, PG. Oh. Keep it classy, you guys. Keep it classy. Classy um, Yeah. But um, I'm having a blast. It's, didn't think I, um, Val, thank you for recommending OnlyFans to me. Um, I should have done it a long time ago, honestly. And um, I just want to say thank you for everybody being so respectful of, yeah. of my content so it's it's you're, you're yeah. being in my life in my life i'm just showing you like like the questions i always get asked at comic cons i'll answer those and um on via video i'm trying to figure out the live uh streaming mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. i'm learning about thank you um danny um victoriaweb.org for helping me try to figure all this stuff she's helping me a lot with all my 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 stuff you know so because i'm just i'm not tech savvy at all you guys I know nothing. I can't hook up my printer. I called the um, printer that the, the helps, you know, the, what the helpline, 
Oh, yeah. I don't know how I, I'm stuck. I don't know why it's not downloading on your computer. And I go, yeah, I don't know either. This is why I'm calling you. They couldn't why help me. Why else would I be calling you? <laughs> they couldn't help me. God, helplines are the worst. But yeah. no, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. We have a little video we'll pitch to here that I have a couple questions, but let's take a little look, a little sneak peek of what you're going to get on uh, Lisa Marie Varen's only fans only fans allowed take a look at this i can barely do this now hi guys this is my little station where i get do my makeup you can tell it's like my desk where we film the um god tv um but i'm just getting ready to film god tv baby um and thank you again you guys on only fans and being respectful and just it's i'm having fun um so far so far so good and thank you for everybody tuning in to my whatnot live auctions too. Um, I'm having a good time. It's all about the contouring, contouring, contouring. But um, yeah, this takes a while, you guys, um, to get ready. Ugh, I, hate, I, I need a day to let my face breathe so I won't break out. But um, anyways, I love you guys. And um, a lot of good stuff on the OnlyFans coming up. A lot of um, exclusive photo shoots and all that kind of stuff and behind the scenes and just a little sneak peek of my life. That's it. That's it, baby. That's it. Okay. Love you guys. See, Lisa, I love that the fans are getting a little glimpse at your life and you're just like I always said, you're kind of built for reality TV and I mean that the best possible way. You're so entertaining. What are you loving most about it and what has surprised you? Because you just said the fans are respectful and we've had like a lot of... Uh, women wrestlers especially and some male wrestlers on here saying they have only fans and i think it's good for people to know that it's kind of you're creating your own brand your own narrative but what are you liking about it and what surprised you about it um it surprised me like just it's really easy mm -hmm. you were not you were not wrong on that it's much easier than my old site um and you can share when you post new things um i've had a block just a, just a few people that's it you know um you're going to get those little negative Nellies, right? You know? Um, yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're like, why is your only fans expensive? And I'm like, this takes work to put makeup on, to do a video. And they got, they have to remember too, the apps take a huge percentage of what we make. You got it. You have to know we don't make that whole amount of money. And I think it's a misconception of what, you know, what we're doing on there, but it's, it is very easy and um, um, loving the questions and the comments and it's our loyal loyal fans like mickey d is a fan uh he joined um Marco. yeah thank you mickey d australia baby Marco. yeah we just have like very, like those that. are the people that are if they they're very if they're supportive of you they're going to join your exclusive site yeah. you know what right. i mean so you're not going to get those bad people that just want to bash you you know yeah. what i mean yeah and my 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 whatnot auction is Easy. I have like three moderators, Mickey D, uh, Danny, VictoriaWeb.org, um, and um, Crow and Trish. They have Crow cards and um, they moderate just to kind of block people because someone was asking me, why, why are you doing Kermit the Frog? And I go, I don't understand what I don't understand because I'm reading the comments. It's like a live um, Instagram. So I go the Kermit Frog and everybody was commenting. He's just being mean. He's just being mean. And I go, Mickey D. You know what to do because blocked and reported, blocked and reported. Yeah, there's always yes. a negative Nelly, like you said. I like know. That. Why? Social media should be about love spreading positivity. Yeah. Peace should. and love. I should have been born in the 60s. <laughs> groovy, man. Groovy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad you're enjoying it. Speaking of groovy, uh, Mickey's been shaking yeah. a groove thing all over Wrestle K from what I see, girl. Yeah. What was up with that? We're like, well, I had these guys at Russell Cade, figuremania.org, my exclusive throwback retro action figure. Minnie James, James has been running around, which I still need to edit her video of her little adventures. And so, anyway, yeah. yeah. And you saw ODB. And there's going to be bundle up. And I did, I did. I, Russell Cade was fun. Obviously, it was so much fun. I got to wrestle for the Impact Throwback Show with ODB. We were, um, I was Smoky Muffler and she was Busty Transmission. We were the auto bodies. Oh um, my God. Because nobody's got a body like the auto bodies, baby. <laughs> Why is this not a thing forever? By the way, WrestleCade is so know. fun. I've had a great time there. Yeah. But that's 
amazing. That is money. Yeah, it is yeah. money. And I don't know why it went super Southern, but then I had this whole pet. We looked so cute. Can I just say, and I fell in love with my little Dickies onesie that I didn't realize that one, I never pulled the tags off of it. So I wrestled <laughs> the whole time with the tags on it. Oops. And, um, but I didn't even know it was so cozy. Who would have known? You yeah. Know? I remember she, I talked to her about it and she was like, um, Tommy Dreamer was like going, she goes, well, what do you want me to wear? He goes, yeah, you don't really need to share and change much on your outfit. You said that enough, girl. Yeah. Oh my I God. But I saw a lot of photos of you um, at the WrestleCade, Mickey. Yeah, I saw you guys Canada. had a blast. Oh, it was so fun. I saw Candace. I saw Carlito. Uh, Soraya was right. I saw a lot. I saw Karen Jarrett there. Her and Cody were in the hallway. We were both heading to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, we were all, well, you know, um, and then who? I saw a lot of people, but I was stuck at the table most of the time, you know, and then I didn't yeah. end up going on the Sunday. So, and I, because I wrestled on Friday instead of going to the convention part, yeah. with, and, yeah. you know, they do that throwback show. So it was a lot of fun too. The characters were so funny. And did you hurt yourself on your match? Did you hurt um, yourself? I hurt, no, I hurt my thumb. I jammed my thumb in my match with Deanna. Because, because you were giving her all the thumbs down? Is that why? I was just giving her those. I thumbed her down hard. I'm telling you that Deanna. Big thumbs down, Deanna. <laughs> yeah. Does this lovely lady know that we have, for like a, over a year, had a running <laughs> joke that we just, I don't know. What, honestly, it was just, you guys know that I'm looking at you guys live chatters. They were in, I'm t- I have two words, pool party. Remember the pool party? We said she's two never, words. We just never come on our she, show. She can't. She's like the lightning rod because we're going to have to be like, oh, because then someone's going to tell her and show her all these clips of us like making, because she had a feud with Mickey. She got a little <laughs> upset. Be my forever feud. She might be, she might be my. Be the longest feud. reigning. Your Zabisco you and San Martino moment. Yeah. How's that for wrestling history? Go ahead, Val. You just pulled that one out your hat, didn't you? Collar and elbow, pinky up. I got a lot under here. (laughs) Collar and elbow, pinky up. Pinky up, lock up. Hashtag. That's a shirt. That's a t-shirt. Lock up. up Wrestling school. What? Oh my god. What? Hey, wow. Hang on, Mickey. When you just just gestured there, I just happened to notice a beautiful uh item behind you. Where did you get such an item? This is just our God TV pillow, man. It's in our God TV store. Just look below. You can see her floating. You can see her floating. She comes in various colors. It's really actually super cozy. And it is. I have so many pillows up here. I can't even. I, this is my, yeah. you know, this is my little sanctuary space. So I have obviously this lovely, our pillow here, but I have like this whole pillow selection over here and pillow selection over here. But I want to make sure she gets in the frame, just so we can mention her every episode. Listen, you love Mickey. your pillows. Mickey James is famous yep. for pillows. Nice, nice pillows. Nice pillows. <laughs> Great pillows. You love your pillows, and we know you're for your pillows. Come on now. We love yeah. them. Um, okay, final thoughts, ladies, as we head into December. I know we've got a lot going on. Christmas around the corner. As we said, Patreons at patreon.com slash TV. You have a few hours only after God TV uh, is done airing here on YouTube. Or if you're listening on podcast form, I, I I have a hat on. I can't do my thingies. But if you're watching on, you know, YouTube or in podcast form, you have only a few hours to join or upgrade to the top tier to chat with us live next month. But final thoughts, ladies, about what we're looking forward to and how you're going to spend the rest of your evening, by the way. Oh. Well, I gotta say, I'm 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 so excited for everybody that is um, pushing that subscription button right now and 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 the bell icon. Whoa, I got and, mine. Yep, I, you know, oh you know, um, uh, we appreciate all you, um, for me, it's just, I'm excited to grow our, our show and, you know, reach out to a lot of wrestling fans and non-wrestling fans and stuff like that. And we thank you for subscribing and clicking that icon button. That's yeah. what I'm, I'm excited for. Yeah. What about you, Becky? Hells yeah. That was a very political answer. You should get into politics. She was like, well, I'm glad you asked, Valerie. I'm so glad you asked. I have the, I have the floor now. Yeah. No, man, I'm just happy for you guys. And I love you guys so much. I'm excited for the holidays. Uh, I thought you were going to make me cry for a second, Mickey. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm okay. not. Okay. 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 I'm having a no stress kind of day. I told you, I still got to go to the gym. I need to go to grocery sh- shopping. I need to do oh. laundry. I need to do all the things. Um, but yeah. Well, we love you. We love you. We and love I'll tell you, you what, everybody, we love that. Well, I'll put it this way. 
We love having guests. That's wonderful. But we also love coming back to just us three. And maybe let us know in the comments. Yes, you can comment here on YouTube or you can also tweet us or Instagram or Facebook. But let us know if you enjoy these just us three episodes because we love doing them. We think it's a nice little break. And if you love it, we might do another one in December, but we'll see how things go because it is a busy holiday season. But we're going to raise our glasses to all of our God TV fans. And we're going to have to do here. a special holiday edition of God TV. Yes. Oh, yeah. Tell us who you'd like to see, by the way, guest wise, that, that's, you know, that's seasons, greetings, festive, someone that you'd like to spend Christmas holiday with. joy. Yeah. Joy exactly. Behar. <laughs> <laughs> Get Joy Bayer on here. A lot of fun, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for being here. Cheers. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Happy holidays. Yeah. This is the word. Go, yo, go, yo.